Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. I have some free time on my hands so I decided that I would do a few um, tarot readings on some celebrities uh, that people have requested. I try and fulfill these requests when I don't have many private readings to do. Those usually take priority and then I will do requests. I go through the comments and this is one of them. So um, have... for those of you who are new to my channel, a little bit about myself. I'm a clairsentient clairvoyant. As a clairsentient, I pick up other people's energies. It is a high heightened form of empathy and I can feel with that past, present and future why somebody's behaving the way they are and where I feel something is going to go. So I can read energies between people on people, it's like energy, vibe, um, emotions, feelings, it's called reading people, that's kind of um, what I do best and I also use tarot and I'm also clairvoyant which means that I can feel, um, I can see, I can see um, uh, images in my mind of perhaps what is going to be coming. So um, if anybody out there um, is interested in purchasing a private reading, please email me, I'll have my email below right here and uh, I'll get back to you within 24 hours and um, typically my turnaround time is less than seven days. I offer three services. The first one is one question, $30. You get five cards with the reading um, uh, and an energy reading. Two cards, sorry, two questions is $45. Same thing, five, question, five cards per question with an energy reading and a full reading is $70 maximum four questions if you want to purchase a reading on your favorite celebrity or just even on your own personal life. I'm more than happy to read on that. Okay, and for those of you who keep coming back and supporting my channel, subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, I truly, truly appreciate every single last one of you. Okay, all right, I know that I say that every time, but I truly do mean it from the bottom of my heart. All right, so all right. Lee Jun Hu and Lim Yuna, I looked it up and they are the same age he is an Aquarius and she is a Gemini. All right, I looked at the pictures of them and I really like this connection, okay? Um, I feel that there's chemistry between them. I do feel that there's a bit of a drama. Now, I find with him he's not that easy. I find he can be critical, he can be a little bit difficult, he's not he, he doesn't go with the flow. He's not an easygoing guy. So I feel like he, he could be somewhat demanding. And so I, I feel she pushes back. She's a Gemini, right? So I, I feel like she's, if he has an issue or a problem, she will not sit there and take it. She will push back and she will tell him exactly how she feels. But there's a lot of chemistry between the two of them and there's a lot of passion. She doesn't put up with his shit, okay? I feel that he likes to um, be a little bit bossy and arrogant, okay? And, um, you know, whether they're dating or not, um, I would like to call it like seeing each other, okay? And I know that, that, that it's different in South Korea and Asia, than it is in North America. I feel like they're kind of seeing each other to see where this possibly could be going, okay? Um, I don't think it's an easy relationship though. I feel that there's a lot of maybe bickering. I don't think there's a lot of blowout fights, but I feel like whatever he puts out there, <laughs> she, she can give it back to him. She does not lay down and put up with his stuff, okay? So let's just see what the cards have to say between these two. Lee Jun Hu and Lim Yuna. She's feisty. All right. And that's good. There's nothing wrong with that. All right. What are the energies between Lee Jun Hu and Lim Yuna? And again, uh, just to remind you, the way I do my readings is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. If more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck and shuffle till the one card falls out. Okay, what are the energies between Li Jun Hu and Lim Yuna?
Okay, that's the Two of Swords. card here. Get a backwards card. All these backwards cards. cards that fell down to the ground. Pick those up. Okay. All right, so the first card we have here is the Two of Swords, and this card speaks about compromise and balance. These two are constantly having to compromise and balance in the relationship the situation that they're in, whether it's while working or whatever the case is, but she stands her ground, okay? So this talks about procrastination, it's thinking, it's time, it's decisions, it's, um, it's about trying to get a workable solution. They're trying, it's like trying to get this relationship to work and be workable. Okay, but there, this card is saying that there has to be a lot of time, there has to be a lot of compromise and balance between these two. Okay, all right, they're both sword signs. This is um, the two, like the Aquarius is ruled by um, air, which represented by swords, and so is um, Gemini. Okay, and so there's a lot of thought and reason between the two of them. These two are not highly emotional but I feel like there is like emotional like lovey-dovey that sort of a thing I think that this relationship is very um uh like like there's a lot of passion okay there's a lot of passion here and there's a lot of chemistry but I don't get a lot of lovey-dovey flowy sort of a relationship Okay, all right, then we have the Five of Swords. This talks about standing up for what you want, believing in what you want. You can see this person here is willing to win at whatever cost. And I feel like this is the both of them. They will fight for whatever they need and they want, and neither of them will back down. Okay, all right, so here's the Fool. This is fresh hope, taking chances, new beginnings. It's like they both take that took that leap of faith. And this is about um, uh, taking that chance, perhaps to see where this relationship is going to go. She is not going to be bound and tied. You can see that she is, like, when I look at this card, this is about self-imposed restrictions, isolation, imprisonment. I feel like she is not going to be uh, imprisoned by this man on any level, okay? Okay. So I feel like it's somewhat like the opposite of this. Like she is, this represents someone that she does not want to be. And I think he tries to kind of maybe put her in her place to some degree, but um, she's not going to stand for it. Okay. And then here is the King of Cups. This is um, someone who, who, who could be very tolerant and empathetic. So he could be tolerant of her, you know, um, because he, he likes her right? So the King of Cups, this card represents, um, this, this talks about, um, represents the male partner, kind and charismatic. He is sensitive to others, but his inability to deal with his own emotions means he can appear distant. So, 
This also talks about taking a balanced view in order to heal a dispute. So it's like they need to be a little bit more balanced because I feel like they dispute a lot. And maybe he takes more of a balanced view because she's not like, even though he is the Aquarius, she's not budging. These two are kind of, these two are somewhat made for each other because they, they both are demanding. And um, uh, I feel that in this relationship, because they're both demanding, um, it kind of, it, it, it teaches them patience. Okay. All right. There you go. That is the reading on Lim Yuna and Lee Jun Hu. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.